March is Women's History Month, and I found in the past that we keep talking about the same women over and over again, like there's only a handful of women that have done really cool things. So in this video, we're going over my five favorite books for women's history, but there are many, many more out there. In fact, if you have a favorite and I don't list it in this video, please tell me in the comments because I'm always excited to add to my library. Okay, so my first choice is actually a new addition to my library. This is I Descent, the story of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. This does not talk about politics uh, unless you're talking in the sense of politics as far as if women should be included, and they should, but this is a really great story about how back in the 1950s when she became a lawyer, it was really discouraged for women to go to college in general and becoming a lawyer, not something that women did. So she worked her way all the way up to the Supreme Court as we know, but this book really covers a lot of the obstacles she had to get over because of the fact that she was a woman and it was expected for her to get a husband and be in the home and not to be contributing in this way, which is to be a leader and to make decisions. And the 1950s was not that long ago, so I think it's an important lesson for our students to know that um, we've had such a long history of female leaders that have had this much to overcome to be heard. So the math and STEM, just in general for girls movement, seems to be a recent thing, but it really hasn't been recent that women have been involved in STEM. And so this book is a fantastic book for looking at the history of a very special mathematician that worked at NASA named Katherine Johnson. This is her story of the Apollo 13 mission that she worked on, and so it's a really great story. But her history, just in general, is really interesting. So I always find that when students learn about her, they want to learn more about her. So we... Um, Go a little bit further than just reading this book on her because she is such an interesting history. So absolutely love this book, highly recommend it, um, especially for your female students who are very interested in math and just STEM in general because she is an inspiration. Okay, another fantastic story is Mae Jemison. She was the first African-American woman in space and in this book, you get to hear a little bit about her history, including her being told, maybe you should be a nurse. Wouldn't that be something that would be more fitting for someone like you? So I think this is another great story of someone who ignored what other people said and went for it and has a really fantastic story to tell. Absolutely love this one. Um, yeah, this is another one where students are like, I need to know more about her. Okay, my next choice is She Persisted. This is more of a traditional book because it talks about multiple um, women in history. And some of these are women that we do talk about a lot. So it's not really anything that's a drastically new story. But what I love about this book is it makes it really easy for students to look at the 13 American women and choose one they're really interested in to learn more about. So if you are doing any sort of biography project or any project-based learning that in, is for Women's History Month, this would be a really great book because it has a real good summary of these 13 women and then your students can go learn and research more about them. Okay, you may recognize this book or you may recognize the name of it, but this is the Hidden Figures book. And I actually, this is my special copy, but have multiple paperbacks of this because Scholastic offered it as a $2 book a while back and I bought way too many. <laughs> but I was so excited because I absolutely love this story. And the coolest thing about this book is that it has a timeline in the back. And this timeline actually talks about um, women in history relating to the topic. Um, normally we see, we don't see timelines like this that include women or um, also include their contributions to these historical events. So absolutely love that timeline. Absolutely love this story. Highly recommend this book um, as another 
great women's history book about mathematics and women in STEM. So that concludes my five favorite books for Women's History Month. Um, these picture books are such amazing stories. Your students will be asking for more information on every single person in them. I am going to make another video next year, hopefully. So please leave in the comments your favorite women's history picture books so that I can add to my collection and hopefully make a new video next year. As always, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell notifications button so that you can see my next video. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos coming up on test prep. I'm also going to be doing some videos on interventions and um, math centers and reading centers. So if you want to see that content and not let it get lost in your stream, please make sure you hit the subscribe and the notifications button. Thank you for joining me for this video. Again, let me know in your comments your favorite books and I'll talk to you in our next video coming out next week.